Many of you have been asking, where's Mr. Carlson? He's not making videos anymore. He must be slowing down and all this stuff. Well, it's actually quite the opposite. I don't think I've ever worked so hard in my entire life. I've been consolidating a bunch of labs together and making one lab where I can pretty much do everything. And that's where I am right now. And you'll see this lab here in this video. So the reason that I'm actually doing this is so that I can make more videos faster and easier. So I'm actually ramping up. I'm not slowing down. The reason I'm not making videos is because, well, there's only one of me and I'm putting all my time right now into moving thousands and thousands and thousands of pounds of gear. And you'll see some of that gear in this video here. So I figure I'll share some of the progression of my labs with you. You may find this interesting from where I actually started. And the picture that you see right now is well before YouTube. So this is kind of a nighttime shot in the lab. And on the other side of this lab here was my radio room. And the reason that you see it lit up green like that is because on the ceiling, there's three high brightness green LEDs that are shining on the meters of my Gates broadcast transmitter that's been converted into the 75 slash 80 meter band. So those green lights shine on the meters so that I can actually see the meters very easily. So if I wanna sit back and have a coffee in the early morning without having a blaring bright light on, when I turn the lights off, they automatically come on and I can see you know, my modulation meter and a plate meter and or modulation current meter and plate meter and all that stuff on the uh, antenna current and all that on the, uh, on the gates. Many of you that have been on this uh, channel for a while know exactly what the gates is. It's a big, big, big old transmitter that I can stand inside of. Anyways, so that's the first picture. And in the second picture here, this is with the lights on. And as you can see, I still have that same piece of paper on the bench. And at this time I was designing a box, an electric box with a channel display in it for an industrial application. And uh, that was just a, a chunk of the schematic at that point that I was designing. That was, uh, oh, prototype that took about a year of design. Again, this is before YouTube. This is before your, I was even thinking of YouTube whatsoever. In the third picture here, you'll see the lab as it actually was. This is the lab that I was in for many, many years. And on the bench is a vacuum tube amplifier that I designed for my own purpose. But um, that is the, the lab picture, the, uh, the uh, I guess you could say the well-known lab picture there. And you can see the, the differences between the last picture and this picture here. You can see the scopes in this picture are actually hung up at this point. And then from that, we moved on to the old time lab, which is this picture right here. So I built this old time lab to, I guess you could say, bring a little bit more equipment into the area and have a, a larger bench work area. So that way I could you know, work on some of the larger equipment. Well, it turns out the depth of a lot of the equipment that I had was so deep, I still ended up with very little, uh, very little bench space. So that lab, it worked okay, but um, it was uh, very specific. So I found myself gravitating back to the original lab, which was the previous picture that you've seen. So then I decided, okay, I'm gonna move everything and I'm gonna move into this space here. So this is my, my tech scope collection and uh, that's just a, a portion of it. It actually goes quite a ways around and there's a lot of scopes in there that you're not actually seeing. And I was gonna make this into the, into the actual lab. I was gonna put a bench in there and work in there. But it turns out that the surrounding road noise is so incredibly, uh, I guess, so, so overwhelming that, uh, you know, I guess vibrations in the shop would make it very, very hard to do any type of videoing in. And then of course in the wintertime, when that heater in the top corner there comes on, yeah, you'd be listening to that for long periods of time and it's not a quiet heater. So I kind of figured, ah, okay, so I'm just gonna leave this as a storage area. So my kind of warehousey storage area and I've, I've added to this collection since then. So then as I was doing this, I was also building this next lab that you see. So this is the, the next lab at the new place. And it looks somewhat like the old lab because I wanted to keep my workflow the same so that way I could make videos because at this point I really wasn't sure how I was gonna integrate this because the previous lab as you see didn't work out because of the road noise and the heater. So I made this one the same, but believe it or not, that lab was even smaller than the original lab. So that made things even harder. Now, I want to do the Grand Receiver Restoration Series, and I have a lot of you know big old televisions and uh, large stereos and, and just big equipment that I want to work on. And that bench that you see 
in, in this uh, video here, or in this uh, picture here, is just too small. I can't put the stuff there. So at that point, I figure, okay, I'm gonna take everything and I'm gonna consolidate into one area so this way I can do everything in one lab. And that is this lab right here. Welcome to the new Mr. Carlson's lab. Going forward, this is where all the repairs, restorations, circuitry design, etc., is all going to happen. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. Going forward, it'll be like we're starting at this point. If you've been here for a long time, you've been able to see the progression of this. And of course, if you watch my older videos, you'll also see the, the older lab in those as well. So this is where everything is going to happen. Now I'm trying to streamline my workflow so I can get more videos out. So you're gonna notice a few changes. One is the miking. Now don't be uh, confused by the room echo and everything that you hear. There's still a lot of shelf space that needs to be filled up in here. So there is a bit of room echo. Uh, outside the camera's frame, I guess you could say, uh, I guess right about here is the end of it. Uh, there's a lot of shelving that way. And on the other side, there's a lot of shelving that way as well. That'll all be filled up with equipment and it'll greatly reduce the uh, room echo. The reason that I'm using a wireless mic, again, to cut down on workflow, I don't have to move the microphone around and set that up. That takes a lot of time. So having this thing dialed in and just moving around and doing the repairs and doing whatever takes a lot of the time uh, off of that, you know, just, just setting things up. And that's the whole idea of this. So uh, the camera work will be a lot easier as well. Tripod sitting here and the camera facing forward. It'll be like you're standing right beside me or sitting right beside me as I'm working on things right here. So it really is a win-win situation. Again, just trying to streamline things so I can get more videos out for YouTube and for Patreon. Now the videos on Patreon are always very steady. I'm always putting videos up on Patreon. If you haven't checked that out and you're interested in learning about electronics in a different and effective way, as I say in all of my videos, uh, feel free to check that out. I'll put the link under the show more tab under the video's description and I'll also pin the link at the top of the comment section. I also share most of my inventions up there as well, all the plans to build them and everything. So definitely check that out. But this is the new area. Now this is just freshly done. A lot of this equipment that you see isn't even wired up at this point. That's how fresh this is. And when I say fresh, I mean, I'm with having this stuff in here maybe a week and I'm still moving stuff in this way and I'm wiring things up. So I'd say about uh, a quarter of this is actually hooked up. There's uh, a lot of cords behind there. As you can see, there's a false wall that's been put in here to you know, keep the cords nice and clean behind there so you don't have to see all everything hanging under there. So a nice false wall that's in there. There is a lot of bench space. Uh, the camera is a, it's a wide angle lens so that you can see everything in here, but it might be a bit deceiving. The bench itself is 16 feet long. So that's a 16 foot bench and there's a lot of work room here. So if I touch my hip right up to the side of the bench here, I can't even touch the equipment. All right, you know, I've got pretty long arms, right? So I can't even touch the equipment. So that allows me to put large transmitters up there. The receivers in the Grand Receiver Restoration Series will very comfortably fit up here. Can work on television chassis, can work on all of that neat stuff. Big industrial electronics will sit up here. So you're gonna see a lot of very interesting things on this channel. Again, if you haven't subscribed, you're definitely gonna to wanna to do that at this point. So going forward, that's what's happening here. So. All of you that have been thinking, Mr. Carlson's slowing down and he's not putting out videos anymore. I've never worked so hard in my life. <laughs> so there's thousands of pounds of equipment here I've been moving. And of course you saw all the equipment that's all those scopes out in my storage area and everything, everything had to be moved. And uh, there's a lot of stuff you're not seeing, again, outside the camera's frame. So there's equipment all along a wall over there, all along another wall. It's, uh, it's a lot of stuff. And a lot of the stuff is gonna end up on the bench for restoration. So there's a lot of really neat things that I've, uh, that I've got planned for this. So that's what's going on here at Mr. Carlson's lab. So I'm ramping up, not slowing down. Uh, the miking again, as you hear, is gonna get dialed in. So uh, don't worry about the room echo and things like that. Again, it's, it's, this is basically my second recording in here. So uh, the first was uh, the introduction of this area and pieces of the build of this on Patreon. And uh, this is really the second recording. So uh, a lot of work to do still. 
Uh, there are noisemakers in here that I have to get rid of. The noisemaker is off right now. It's a, a geothermal system and it's a, there's a very large compressor in it. And um, the, the designers, quickly, the designers that uh, put the water pumps bolted them on a sheet that fits on a wall. And uh, that wall is like a big speaker. So when those big water pumps come on, that wall's vibrating in here and uh, it produces a bit of hum. So I've got to remove those pumps off the wall and uh, drill some holes in concrete and weld up some bracketry so that I can get rid of that and that'll um, get rid of the hum. Right now you're not hearing it. You may, he you may have heard that hum in the earlier uh, shots when I showed you the pictures, but uh, right now there, it's, it's off. So it's, uh, it's done its cycle right now. So anyways, that's what's going on. I hope you've enjoyed and uh, it's just going to grow. Things are getting better. Lots, lots of really neat stuff coming here in the future. So I look forward to doing lots of repairs and restorations and sharing all of that with all of you. So until next time, take care. It's been a lot of fun to this point and it's going to get even better. Bye for now.